Press pause. Why? You have something on your nose. I do? Yeah. So if I have to start this whole thing over. And don't be a racist. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. I'm Leah. And I'm Chuck. And if you didn't notice, we are interracial couple. Wow. We're gonna get a little bit more serious. We like to make you guys laugh on our channel and we wanted to do funny videos, but we figured we'd make this video because I feel like it's something that a lot of people can probably relate to or probably just wanna hear us talk about. So if you guys wanna hear more about things that we deal with as an interracial couple, then keep on watching this video. What's your favorite comment that you get? Uh. Does, do you only date white girls? Mm -hmm. uh, I married a white girl, yes, but growing up, no, that's not all I dated. Mm -hmm. uh, does she have a friend you could hook me up with? Oh my gosh. It's, uh, that's, yeah. That's probably the number one, and it's like, we're not we're not 12. You we could, won't even know black guys that are in a bar with us, and they'll walk up to me and ask me. Stuff like that, or if I happen to go to a bar with her, and I go back, or she goes back to that bar, she'll get hit on by a lot of mixed races because they think that once, if she's doing it, she's okay with doing it. That's all she does is date black guys. So yeah. now all the black guys want to hit on her, which is- I have right. gotten that comment about, do you only date black guys before? And would you ever date another black guy? Or do you only date him because he acts white? Or, oh, I didn't understand it, but now I get it because I've gotten to know him. That comment, um, whenever we first got together, I probably would have answered and been like, no, I probably won't. Or yeah, I probably will. Um, I would never answer that now because one, we're married, and this is the only man I plan on dating the rest of my life, but, mm, dating. you know what I mean? I mean, it's just like comments like that you don't think about until you're in the situation, and then further along, you'll start to realize that's kind of messed up, like people shouldn't say stuff like that. So I feel like our comments that we hear a lot are, I oh, he it. must have money. He must have money, huh? I hate that comment. <laughs> that's definitely I it. hate that comment. <laughs> I hear, oh man, how do you, how do you, how do you date white girls? I don't know how to talk to them. What do you mean? I mean, they're, they're the same person as anybody else. What, what What's different? I just, it just kind of fathoms me. That yeah. I think it's a different approach and it's really not. It's just, no. to me, it's being yourself and whoever attracts you is who you attract. Um, man, I get it that I'm racist towards black people. I don't like black women uh, in my line of business. I don't hire that just because I don't only date white girls. That's, that's so not true. One, his mom, his grandmother, his cousins, his friends. All that. They're all they're all married to black women or they are black women? First of all, my mother to begin with is probably my best friend in the world and she knows we talk probably 15 times a day. I would never disrespect my culture due to the fact that I how, how much I respect my mother. Mm -hmm. I uh, put her on top of the world as far as when it comes to that more than anybody besides my wife, but that's that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Another comment. I wouldn't know, I wouldn't say that this is necessarily a comment. We have had comments before, but we have always talked about how if we walk into a building with our friends and you have five white men, four white girls and me and Ch and Chuck, they're going to put him with none of us if we're all white. I'm just a friend of this hanging just out. Just a them. friend. This happens more than you can imagine. We get are your tickets separate or together with wedding rings on our fingers? Um, we'll be, we could be sitting right next to each other. Or she'll order a drink and say, what tab, you have a tab? And like, yeah, it's on, it's on his tab. And they're like, oh, okay. That's yeah. It's not, it's, it's so hard to explain comments that are made because it's not always just comments. Sometimes it's the way that people act. And I think that people don't realize like, maybe like even like when we, what bar did we go to that one time where they were acting kind of weird about letting you in with me? Was it in Houston? It was in Houston. It was in Houston. Yeah. We were getting into, we were going into a bar and they were acting like I didn't want him there with me. Remember? I said, I said yeah, this is, this is my and I was fiance. Like, that's, yeah, that's my fiance. I'm, I'm with her. So said, it's, oh, okay. But. Yeah, people suck. <laughs> Another comment that we get, it was about the food. <laughs> it's about, the, so I'll be having, and this is something that is kind of lower down on my list, but family comments mean more to you than any comment that any, can never be made to you. And I used to brush them off pretty bad when we first got together because I knew it didn't bother Chuck because he's been used to it his whole life. But the comments made from family members that are not trying to be racist, but shouldn't be said, are things like, do we need to cook something extra for Chuck? Or like, what does he like to eat? To me, it's more or less them 
at a worry for me not accepting their type of food that is, but I, I'm very not very picky when it comes to to eating. So people try to do extra because I'm in the building because oh maybe I season my food a little bit of di different than most, or maybe he eats this and doesn't eat that. Mm -hmm. So they'll try to accommodate, which it's kind of a it's a slap in the face. It is, but I'm no different than. Anybody. Another comment that I cannot stand getting is your dad doesn't care and his mom likes you. I hate those comments. My dad actually never had a problem with Chuck. Not one time. Not always been very respectful about Chuck. He immediately took Chuck in. But he loves <coughs> Chuck dearly. I know he does. And I know that he's very happy for us. I, I hate that comment. I really do. And I have older brothers who love Chuck. And I just... <sighs> that comment sucks. I hate that. And I hit the mom. His mom likes you. His mom loves me. One. Thing and is, two, he has a mixed child. So his mom will forever respect. Anything about that. I it, mean, she. It's she, half of him. If she didn't. Honestly, if she didn't like Lee, we would be together. Uh, because that's, you know, that's my mom. Her opinion Hi, matters. <laughs> uh, she's my go-to person. So, I mean, I'm not. My mom, yes. My mom loves Leah very much so my mom my grandma my relatives they all call and check on her yes, every time they, they call me they ask about her so it's not even yeah that's not even an issue at all family's not an issue i don't know if this is a comment but we we saw this on another video and we thought the same thing because i immediately thought about chuck getting pulled over together it's it's <laughs> it's awkward because this is such a controversial subject there's, there can be i can be pulled over for speeding i can be pulled over for not turning signal, light out, or registration off, or I can be pulled over because I have a younger white girl in my car and they're suspicious of why she's in my car and they'll pull you over and ask you the wildest questions. Just wild. Just, just, where y'all going? You, you from these areas? Staring uh, at me the whole time they're uh, asking him. And I'm like, sir, why, why'd you pull me over? So we're just doing a routine stop, uh, this and that, but let's reverse it and she's driving. We have no issues. No issues. And, I, and ever. I'm not. I'm not against police. Don't get me. Don't don't. No, there are assholes out there, and there that's in every everywhere. single job. So not we're not going to get onto that topic right now. We could if y'all really wanted, but we're not. Um, yeah, getting pulled over together. I have witnessed when he's driving. I have witnessed the most wild stories. Which as soon as we get pulled over, if he's driving, I'm scared to death immediately. Well, sometimes we'll pull over and just let her drive because we're in a. Uh, an area that we're unfamiliar with that mm -hmm. we don't know where we're going. So I was like, look, why don't we just let you drive? Yeah. That way if you do get pulled over, we'll just, we'll just chalk it up to being lost or we're not from here so we won't get any any crap if they do pull us over. It's, <sighs> it's It happened, I mean, one time really bad in Dallas. Yeah, uh, that was, I was going to bring that we're up. We're not going to talk about the situation, but I was, I do coach basketball. I did coach mm -hmm. basketball and I had a bunch of kids in my car, one of all races again, and we were lost and they pulled me over and just gave me all kinds of shit just because i was in a, an unknown area we had I, no idea where we were going i had louisiana tags so it was just it was and they gave me shit but it was pretty bad that was my first experience with chuck getting pulled over realizing that he was totally profiled and it was oh my gosh it was I just kept it extra I could extra not. cool because one my son was with us and the kids are coaching i didn't want them to freak out but i did everything I did a little bit extra. I was extra nice, and he still wasn't having it. No. But he still up, called an extra cop out. For no reason. Oh, such a long story. Um, the, the, the butt question. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and say this. If you know me personally, you know that I'm a thinner girl. I don't have a very large butt. Just It is what it is. I was not blessed with genetics, and it is what it is. I am a thinner girl. Comment about does Chuck care that you don't have a butt or I'm surprised that he's with you because of your body type or my favorite you don't look like you would date a black man <laughs> what does that mean I that is it because I'm not black I don't understand I hate that comment and when we first got together I would have laughed it off and been like ha 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 yeah whatever I would never laugh that off anymore there's people to this day that if she walks in my place of business and I'll still see me talking. You can always tell the body language of somebody that's not just a friend or just a buddy. Yeah. A boyfriend, a girlfriend, a wife, whatever. And I'll walk away and I'll be like, is that your wife? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, what? And how'd I'm you like, pull that off? How'd you pull that off? And I'm like, what? What do you, what do you mean? Yeah. It, yes. Being told that I do not look like I would date a black man 
pisses me off. Can't. Fall in love with somebody, no matter what they look like, then t go with that because that's love is love. I mean, mm. I mean, I mean, it's just, it just says what it is. It is what it is. So we get stared at. Um, we'll go to a bar and I'll have the old white man staring me down, just disgusted. Um, I have the black man that's staring Chuck down because he's like I'm a shocked. Out. I'm a sellout to them yeah. for some reason, but it is, I mean, whatever. This is a sensitive topic. And I think people need, if you're offended, then you need to be offended. There's better things. There's more things to worry about than who the person sitting next to you is dating or who you're going home with. It's, it's, I don't see color. I see people and I see human yeah. beings. So. And we have friends of oh. every single race, yeah. every single age. I mean, we have friends that are in their fifties, almost 60 to the friends where we have that are popped out of high school, maybe about to be in college or are 21. We have yeah, it's you, a if huge you, friend group. You see a get together, a big get together of ours. You like, you'll see like, okay, well, this is like a damn rainbow. We don't, we do not discriminate matter. against our friends. I love that about us. I think that's one of my favorite things about being with Chuck is that we are very diverse. So I think that's one of the first things I ever noticed being with him is that he gets along with anybody. And if you know Chuck personally, you probably love him too. <laughs> I do get along, <laughs> but with he's him, but mine. I like to have a good time. You know, I'm, I'm serious a lot, but when I'm when I'm out, I'm out. People yeah. know that. When I'm having a good time, I'm having a good time. And don't don't come throw some negativity on, mm -hmm. on what we got going on. Because we don't want it. If we're if we're in our in our zone with our people, you know we're having a good time. So just leave us alone. But leave yeah, us alone. that is the video for today. We just wanted to kind of say some stuff that we experience and give you guys something a little bit more serious, especially with today's world. Yes. But if you felt offended about this, like I said. It Sorry. is what it is. It is what it is, yo. And if you say something racist around me, I'm going to call you out. And then I'll beat hey, you up. Yeah. Sorry for your bye. Keep sucking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys want to see more videos from us, like and subscribe down below. Let us know what you guys want to see. We're always, we're always open to suggestions. <laughs> we're always open to suggestions if you guys have anything that you guys want to see. Thank you guys so much. Have a good day and peace out. Y'all. Hey, I don't know what that was.